guys, it's uh, another Friday night and I'm back out in the garage here. Let me get a little bit more work done on the mini snowcat. Um, that opening video there is my new method for getting the workshop up to a comfortable temperature uh, very quickly. It works quite well actually. It started out around 52 degrees and five minutes later it was about 65 so yeah 250,000 BTU really makes a, a difference so now that it's all warmed up in here um, I have a couple little tasks that I'm gonna work on tonight with the, the mini snowcat build and uh, there's really not a lot left to do on the cab um, Basically, after I get these last couple of things done, I'm going to start to disassemble it and uh, I have a couple other things that I need to, to do to it while it's taken apart and then I will start to get it back together. So for tonight, um, I'm going to work on getting the control levers installed. Now it turns out that the cables that I had ordered, they were 50 inches long and that's where it ends. It's not really practical, so I did have to order some longer cables. I went with the 79 inch cables, so there should be plenty of length to be able to route the cables kind of up and over to where the control levers are going to be mounted. So that should be coming in the next couple days. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to also work on once I get the cab kind of torn down, I'm going to cut an access hatch there in the floor and then just use a piece of sheet aluminum or sheet metal to cover that over. It'll make getting in and doing inspection and repairs a lot easier for the future. Um, and then what I will end up doing is coating the interior of the snow pad. I have some leftover polyurethane, uh, just like a you know, sealant transparent so it's gonna keep the grain in the wood that'll probably look quite nice on the inside and then the outside um, I've pretty much settled on a color now uh, I'm not gonna reveal that quite yet but it's uh, basically a, a can of paint that I've had sitting around for uh, a couple months now it's oil based so it's gonna be perfect for the application but, um, I'll save that for another video. But, uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to get going on uh, some of these last tasks for the build, and then uh, we'll see if I can even start to get this uh, taken apart. for the two control levers and um, pretty simple there's not much to it but I don't need much um, levers are nice and close together my thought behind that is uh, it allows you to to hold both levers with one hand so you don't really need to use two hands while you're driving this thing all the time uh, so you can you know kind of move the two between your your thumb and your palm and uh, if you're going for a long straight drive that'll make things a little bit more tolerable. Uh, aside from that I took the router and I just went over all of the outside corners with a quarter round bit and that pretty much wraps up all of the uh, fabrication for the cab. I'm gonna clean up the workshop now get rid of all the dust that uh, I've made and I'm going to start to disassemble this. I'll probably start with the seats and the mount and then make my way to the back, the top, basically disassembling it in the reverse order of which I built it. And uh, after that, that'll let me get into that floor area 
I don't know if I'll have enough time tonight to cut that um, cut that opening out, but it'll at least make it more accessible so I can carry on tomorrow. So I'm gonna tidy up now and uh, keep going. Basically the frame strips are only glued to one sheet right now and everything can kind of slip together. When I go to reassemble it, it will all get glued together and the cab will become one kind of giant single unit. Um, that's about all I have to do for tonight, but tomorrow I'm going to cut out the access hole in the floor. And once that's done, I'll probably give the underside of the cap, that sheet right there behind here, a coating of some rock guard, like a rubberized uh, undercoating, uh, just to help seal that, uh, that panel up, because it's going to be getting snow and slush and all kinds of other junk thrown at it. Uh, and then after that, uh, I've got a couple little things that I need to take care of in the chassis overall. I would like to get the preload on the springs adjusted a little bit higher just to compensate for the weight of the cab and the materials. Uh, aside from that, uh, I might look at adding a bit of an underbelly pan just behind uh, the rear axle there just to keep the belt from getting really uh, covered in slush and snow and whatnot. Um, a bit of a pain just because the machine is pretty heavy to lift up right now so I have to just jack it up and uh, jack it up and look under it. So we'll see uh, see about that but otherwise um, everything is pretty much ready to go uh, once I get those little kind of bits and pieces taken care of under here I'll start to reassemble the cab and um, yeah continue on hopefully Hopefully, hopefully that engine comes back sometime soon. Ideal timing would be if it uh, came back just after the cab was uh, assembled and then I could drive this thing into the shed where I can get the temperature a little higher in there and help cure the paint for it a little better. But anyway, that's, uh, that's all I have for tonight. Um, like I said, I'll be continuing on every weekend. Hey there. Well, I'm back out in the shop tonight. I actually wasn't out here last night. I skipped tonight, but um, back out to get some more work done. Um, uh, while I have the cab taken apart, I did manage to get out and grab some parts today while I was uh, in the city. Uh, I grabbed this cool little switch panel. It's got a 12 volt outlet got some USB ports on this side, a voltage readout, and then it's got these five switches and it's all pre-wired. Not bad for 30 bucks. I probably couldn't do any better myself. Um, so with that I realized that my dash is probably about, I'm going to say an inch and a half too narrow. So I'm going to have to rip a new piece of the material down to make a little bit deeper dash, but that won't be too big of an issue. And the big thing for tonight is to get an access hole cut out in the floor here. So what I'm going to do is I have a, <laughs> I have a piece of really nice aluminum um, black anodized uh, that would make a really good cover. So I'm basically just going to size the opening just so that um, I can 
cut these kind of folds on the side off and that'll be the, uh, the cover plate. So nice and inexpensive. And the other thing I'm going to do is probably just use the router to, to tidy up some of these holes that I uh, cut with the jigsaw. Um, I ended up getting the router afterwards and well it does a really nice job when you use a, a fence for cutting holes so I'm going to clean that up while I'm at it. After that I'll probably uh, just give the floor a quick sanding and one thing I've been thinking about doing is just for the interior of the mini snowcat is just to stain, or not stain, but I guess seal a lot of the interior surfaces before I go to reassemble it, obviously like not sealing the areas where I'm going to be gluing it, but um, just sealing some of the larger open areas just to make it a little bit easier and then all I have to do is touch up the, uh, the corners. So I think that'll work out a little bit better. Um, aside from that, yeah, not much. Just going to keep moving along here and hopefully start to get the cab reassembled pretty soon. Oh yeah, and that is a giant purple martin house. We picked that up from the, I can't remember if it was the Salvation Army or the thrift store or something like that. But um, I'll go out in the yard in the springtime and use a good coat of paint. It was painted, but it's not going to stand up to the weather. So I'm going to probably get it installed and then once it's sitting on the post out in the yard there, I'll give it a coat and I'll make, make the application a lot easier. together. It's, uh, it's back into one piece now. And you can see that I've got the poly, uh, polyurethane glue is setting up and filling in all the little cracks all over this thing. And then it's gonna hold it together really well. Now before I got the back and the top on, I did manage to get a coat of polyurethane on the entire every every part of the in interior so uh, that'll help keep it a little bit cleaner um, on the underside I did apply some rock guard it looks fantastic actually um, it's got like a nice kind of truck bed liner texture I would almost consider doing the whole um, Snow cat with that. It looks pretty good actually. Um, but for now, I think I'm just going to stick to my original plan just because I've already got a certain type of paint uh, left over from another project. So while I had the um, while I had the body off, I did add some little bump stops. That's what these tabs are here. It's kind of difficult to see, but basically when the shocks uh, finish their travel this bar here should bump down on them and there's a little bit of a notch that I made into the side panels just so that you can travel a little more. And something else I put on is some of these half inch uh, forged eye hooks or eye bolts. Uh, those will be used for load securement when I go to trailer the snow cat or they could be used for recovery or whatever. So I've got two in the back and two 
two up front. These are going right into some quarter inch. And this is a really, really strong area right here. So it's welded on both sides there and it's welded on the inside all the way along the bottom so you'll be able to pick up this whole machine with these five bolts and uh, yeah, aside from that i'm uh, really excited as to where this is going the uh, the access hatch in the, the middle there turned out really well also i uh, just got to cut that that uh, aluminum cover for that piece of equipment that I've scrapped and uh, that'll make a fantastic access hatch to get to the front drive motors and also get to all the other stuff. Do an oil change for the hydraulics. But, um, yeah, that's about it for this video. I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, in the next one, I will finish getting the body put together and I'm going to start to get the doors. Those, uh, I've got some piano hinge to attach the doors, get the doors installed, get the hatch installed, get some of the hardware installed and then um, once all of this polyurethane glue is set up I will uh, trim it all off and just give the outside corners um, just a quick sand and then um, paint it. I'm not even going to bother filling in the screw holes. It's going to be just a waste of time. I actually thought about unscrewing all the screw holes uh, while I painted it just so that I could put them back in and you would actually be able to see them. I thought that would look kind of neat. But um, yeah, that's it for this one and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.